Hello and welcome to my review of the Mini Plaster Tripod. Now cameras are getting smaller and they're getting smaller all the time, particularly when we go from a DSLR to a mirrorless camera. But you don't really get that with tripods. You've got very large tripods and you've got small tripods that aren't really as good. So it means you've got a small camera but you probably need to carry around a large tripod with you which sort of defeats the object of the small camera. And that's where this fits in. This is called Mini Plaster Hand. So it comes in a very small packet and it's a tripod that has a strap and straps around things so it's not very big at all and it means you can take it out with you with your small camera although it can take big cameras as well like DSLRs. So to fit the hook through you have to fit it through sideways and that's a really good safety feature because it prevents it just falling out and you soon pick up the knack of getting the angle right to put it through. It's worth mentioning I have not been paid for this review and I have no commercial relationship with the company that makes these items. It's nice one piece metal and it has a smooth finish and you've got little bars on it to stop it getting scuffed and to give a little bit more grip. You've got a thread there for attaching your camera or a tripod head. Now to get a really tight fit you can fit it through this other holder again and then that means that the hook at the end is facing down and you can attach things like a bag to it or a weight or something that adds weight to it and then it's going to really firmly secure things. So you can see I can't pull it through, it's quite secure there. And again I have to turn it at an angle to get it through. So looking on the product's website you can see a lot about it and there's all the safety information, all the, what it can hold up to and the weights it can go up to. And they do ship it with different ball heads that you can use for it. And GoPro mounts and mobile phone holders and this adapter to change the thread size. When I was in discussion with the manufacturer, I just said, just send me the basic one because I knew I had my own um, ball head that I was quite happy to use. So here I'm fitting it round a lamp post. So you can see I've, I've threaded it through, I've threaded it back and I'm pulling it down and now I can attach a weight, a bag, my camera bag, my shopping bag, anything if I want to just to hold it in place. You can see I've put a small ball head mount onto the mini plaster. And one of the good things about the mini plaster is it can attach to different sizes of objects out in the urban environment and different widths. It seems quite secure, I can't seem to pull it off, doesn't seem to slip down. So one of the things I've thought of doing with it, which I don't think anyone else has thought of, is attaching a flash. So I can mount a flash to a stable position when I'm out shooting with flash because I do shoot with flash quite a lot and I can aim the flash where I want and I don't have to carry around a light stand and I don't have to worry about it falling over. You can see it's quite secure there and held down with a bag. And here's just an example of my small camera that I'd attached to it again. I'm using my bag just to add a bit of weight to it and put it down and make it secure. And you can see it quite happily fits around and seems secure to me. Again, that hook is really useful for attaching bags and stuff and weighing it down. The camera is nice and secure. So you can attach it to things like trees, and here you can see me doing that, although it looks a bit like I'm struggling. Now one thing I did notice when I attached it to a tree was I got a lot of guck and dirt and other stuff on the sticky side. But thankfully when I got home that did wash off and it came off quite easily. So Getting dirt on the sticky side is not a problem. It's really easy to wash off with just water and a piece of kitchen towel or tissue. Now, one thing that did surprise me was you've, when you go out, you've obviously got to attach this to a structure. This is no good to climb up a mountain. There's not going to be any bars or any rocks or anything you can attach it to. But one thing I did find surprising was I wanted to attach it to this Asda trolley that I just found lying about, but I couldn't. The cylinder I was trying to attach it to was too small and it wouldn't loop round securely so I couldn't attach it to very small cylinders. Which got me thinking about comparing it to a clamp. Now a clamp I could attach to that small cylinder but I don't know, would I take a clamp out or would I take the mini plaster out? I would probably take the mini plaster out because it's lighter, it's not as tough as one of those clamps and those Manfrotto clamps. 
it is smaller and it is lighter and this isn't for replacing your tripod. Your big tripod has a place in your photography. When you go out photographing, doing a bit of street photography and you pack light and you take your mirrorless camera, you just take your mini plaster just in case you need a tripod. I would definitely take it out with me to give me the option of having a tripod when doing urban photography. And I particularly see a use for it with flash. Attaching a flash to a lamppost rather than carrying around a light stand really does appeal to me. So, so in summary, it's not something that you would use all the time, but it is very well made, it is very well designed, and I do definitely see a use for it. Why not watch some of my other videos here? Goodbye.